Saruki was hungry for a finish tonight, and he got it. You know, I knew I'm gonna finish him, and I told you guys yesterday, I did it. I'm not just talking. Arman Ahakalake Saruki! Welcome to UFC Unfiltered. Please tell me that's on video. I've never been happier. I'm made for a fucking podcast. That's <laughs> dangerous. Listen to me, we're at it. Welcome to UFC Unfiltered. Matt and I are here. I sound a little icky, maybe. I'm, uh, I got a flu shot yesterday. And whenever I get the flu shot for a day or two, I don't feel terrible. But the, it's slightly fluish. So that's why my voice is a little sexier than normal. Raspy. Yeah. I don't do many shots. I like a flu shot. I mean, I'm vaccinated, but I'm like, I don't think I'm going to get any more boosters. I'm done with that. And uh, I, I like a flu shot every year, though. I mean, uh, I just, I don't like getting the flu. I don't want to lose the money for a, a gig I would have to cancel. Yeah, you like a little, you like a little poison in you. I don't like um, a little poison in me. Not at all. You know what I'm looking forward to? Is yeah. this weekend, Jimmy? Yes, now, me too. Uh, just to be on the same page at the same time, right? They're, they're it's it's same bad. Uh, I, I'll tell you one second. Need the time? Right no, so, 10 a.m., buddy. It's a 10 a.m. prelims main card, 2 p.m., which is phenomenal. So you get up nice and early on a Saturday, but not too early. It's not like it's 4 a.m. 10 a.m. is great. This is what I like about that, okay, is that I – I'm teaching this, the 9 a.m. class. I don't have to, but I like to. It's almost like a seminar over there. Yeah. One day you, on a Saturday, you should come out and do that 9 a.m. class. It's a mixed class. I can't get up that early, but I would love to. We'll see. I mean, I'm Jimmy. I'm so Jimmy. I'm not I'm good at getting up. Jimmy, I'm, first of all, you're not a wussy. You're, you're training jiu-jitzu. That's you right. don't like to be a Uber. You get up. Oh, I'm I'm sorry. Name calling. What am I? It's okay. An imbecile? I'm sorry. You know. <laughs> I even went today with a sore shoulder and train. I didn't train yesterday, but today I did. I, I, I'm taking shots at you. I like that you're just training. I shouldn't give you shit. Yeah. But then again, get up in the morning. I like that when you tell that to. I, when one day maybe we'll have David Goggins on, and I'm going to say, you know, I invite Jimmy over at nine o'clock on a um on a on the weekend and. And you're going to say, oh, I, I'm too tired. And let's see what that guy says. And whatever he says, I'd go, yeah, it's a great point, David. Uh, but I'm going to bed late. I'm doing gigs on Friday night. Oh! And I sleep late you know what, Saturday. Jimmy? You know what's silly about me? I think that, you know, this is, this, this is your gig. This is me right now. This is me at work. No, I understand. But this morning at work, if you look on my Instagram, okay, uh, you will see, Jimmy, me literally steaming, like steaming, steaming, like literally steam coming off me because I go outside and you see me just like I'm melting. I want you to do that right now. And it's Were you it's sweating? Yes. Hold on. Yeah, I, I sent it to you just so you can look I, at I'm going to look for on Instagram. Oh, this is wow. easier though. I sent you that of me sweating. Wow. Do you like right? heights or no? no? Do I like heights? Yeah, height. No, no. Are you afraid of heights? No, I'm, I'm a short man. Everything's everything's high for me. Yeah, no, I, I yeah, I understand. You're on step ladder, but I mean, I, I'm the same way. I don't like. I don't like. I'm a short man as well. I yeah. don't like heights. Okay, I'm Wait, looking at you I'm, putting someone down. You, I'm looking at your Instagram. My Instagram. Oh, yeah. Isn't it no, on your? Instagram? Put on the steam. I, I I came out of the steam. Look on my story. Story. Yeah. Press the story. I and am. That's I just. Eddie Lamagna. He's a drummer. Okay. Okay, yeah, watch that. Oh, I see in a minute. Watch my watch my body. Watch the, everything come off me like I am melting. Look wow, at, that's so bizarre. <laughs> what the fuck is that? That's then, nuts. I came out of the steam and then it's the oh. nice morning air. Now, now. Are you steaming a shirt? Well, I came out like I, the steam was st I was still steaming. Like I came out, I dried off, I'm going to downstairs to teach. And oh, I shaved my head in there. Now look at your your text that I sent you. Okay. Look at that one, please. That's a special one. It's mad. Okay. He's naked. And 
<laughs> from the waist up. Yep. Is that uh, a what? Fight trigger? What are you punching? <laughs> Leave right trigger alone. But listen to me. Yes. What a nice picture, huh? Uh, anyway, yeah, very. <laughs> very, very nice. Why are you wasting time sending pictures of my glory? Um, viewing pictures of my glory. Let's talk about, about this weekend. The Cole main and the main. You know, who is the pressure on more? Volkanovski or Islam? Is there really no pressure at all on Volkanovski? Now he's he's looking at it like that. And because he's the guy in there, who else? Who cares what, what everybody else is is how everybody else is looking at it? But like people might be like, oh, there's more pressure on on this guy, or how is he gonna do it in 12 days? He's going in there like, look, I'm going off out off the couch. I'm taking coming off the couch, going to this guy's backyard. And you know, if I lose, I, basically he's not saying if I lose, but I think it's pretty much saying that if something does go south, eh, fuck it, he took it on 12 days. He did, but I mean, there's two, look, Makachev had a full camp, but he was also training for Olivera, who is different uh, than Volkanovski, and the last fights they had together were different. I would love to have seen Volk had a full camp, but again, like sometimes these things just work out where Islam has not had more than 12 days to prepare for him either. Um, so who knows? I, I think it's going to be a very tough fight. Um, and Volkanovski, I, I think has to, has to stop him this time. I, I don't, I don't think he's going to necessarily, uh, outpoint him again. Um, that's just my take on it again, especially without a full camp. Yeah, I mean, my thing is this, yeah, he has to fight him and he's expecting fighting the taller jujitsu, you know, like, like, you know, listen, Charles Oliveira, not only does he have a different body type, obviously sure. <laughs> drastically than, uh, Volkanovski. He's got a different skill set. So yeah. I understand that aspect of it, but he's in shape for a title fight. That's what that's the biggest thing. It's not that, all right, you got to prepare to this guy's style. Hey, dude, as a fighter, you got to adapt, but you got to be in sh- You have to have the gas tank to do it. That's the biggest thing. That's the number one thing with both him and Kamaru Usman. There's fight shape and then there's walking around shape. Yeah. Are these were these guys. What kind of shape were they going into? How, what kind of shape are they are they um, walking into this cage in? Uh, right. Uh, that, that English. I, I didn't really. That didn't come out of my mouth too. Soon. I know what you're saying though. What kind of shape are they going to be when when they fight? Like are they walking around? They're all in shape, but are they in fight camp shape? No. Uh, but who knows what they do? In, I don't know what they do in between fights. I don't know how rigorous either one of these guys are in the gym. Something tells me Volkanovski and, and Usman pretty much stay animals in the gym. So. You know, maybe it's just a matter of, like you said, peak. You want to you peak at the right time. You said that before. Uh, there's definitely an advantage for Shemaev, of course. Uh, and there's a, a definitely an advantage for Makachev. Another fight I'm looking forward to uh, is the featured bout, uh, Magomed Ankalaev and Johnny Walker. Uh, Ankalaev's last fight. I can't believe he hasn't fought since uh, December. I guess it's a year. It's not crazy against uh, Jan Blahovic. And he handled it really well when he had that draw. Uh, I went out of the UFC. They took my fight, and and Jan was just so humble. Go, well, I'll give it to him. I don't, you know, which I thought Jan should have been a little bit more. Uh, I, if I remember correctly, man, I thought Jan won that fight. It was a good fight, but I thought Blahovich won. Was it the second, the last two rounds? I think that Ankalaev did so well. I'm, I'm vaguely remembering. It's been a year. Yeah, man, um, I'm not sure. But you know what? I really got a problem with what, buddy. A problem with the way Disney did that fucking Ahsoka thing there. I'll tell you, Jimmy. What's the Ahsoka thing? That's uh, that's well, with a new series, and it was really fun. But they really <laughs> just like to they, they really like to just shit on the dudes, man. Like this this uh, 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 Ezra Bridger. Uh, he was like the lost Jedi, and he saved like some of the universe. He did this big thing. So now they get him live action. One. One episode I mentioned already, he didn't want to use the uh, lightsaber, even though it was given to him. He yeah. was I don't need He's being more of like a hippie. And it's really, really just stupid decisions. And then the second, and next thing you know, there's two fucking like horse, like alien horse things. So he's riding bitch. He's on the, like, that's what they call if you're on a motorcycle. It's, yeah. it's, I don't know how politically correct it is, but that's what they call it. Uh, you know, when you're the guy on the back. On, and so I don't know, the two girls riding it, he's on the back. It's just, it really irks me. Okay, yeah. let's go back to some MMA action. <laughs> That's how my mind thinks. Like, not for anything, there's nothing wrong in the first Star Wars if Luke and Leia, even though it's weird that they kissed, uh, you know, 
like when they got they're getting chased by stormtroopers. This is what it would be like, okay? And I'm not and listen, I have I have daughters. I'm, I like strong female characters. Sure. Uh, uh Vasquez from Aliens. Holy shit, she was awesome. Yes. Sig- Sig- Sigourney Re- Weaver. Sigourney and, Weaver, and, yeah. Linda Hamilton. Don't get me started on how the girls are awesome. But uh the point Timothy so- Chalamet. Uh, let me don't get me started on Doom, please. But listen, <laughs> uh, the part in Star Wars when they get chased by the stormtroopers, and then he has to like, like shoot up the, the rope, almost like a Batman thing, and then yep. she holds on to him and she goes, "Good luck." She gives a little kiss, not a bad, not like a naughty kiss, right? Of course. Oh. And then they swing. That would be like now they would have Leia shoot that thing, and Luke would be holding on to her like, "Ah, I did it. fuck off." Yeah, fuck off. I mean. A guy can't be a guy. And next thing now, if he be a guy, oh my goodness, you're demeaning the girl. Oh man, he's stronger. How about that? Anyway, listen, I love everybody though. Um, Jimmy, yes. this morning I did stuff off the De La Hiva guard. You know what that is? It's no, what is that? It's like, well, we did one for self defense a little bit when a guy's standing over you trying to ground and pound. Okay. Yeah, he's between your open legs. Or, so use your leg hooking around his leg on the outside, curling in your toes. Yeah. I grab ankle, my ankle and my yes. other a sidekick and it's keeping him away. And yes. should, in the, in the, in the hip area, like uh, more towards the ribs, a little bit higher. Cause I okay. want the guy to try to swing at you and they go to grab the leg, the leg drag or something. And then you replace your legs and you show a nice up kick. And then I go back to a sweep. Anyway, I did that. And then I did a dead line of a sweep with the jacket where I hold the other sleeve and I come through. That's so much fun. That's my job. Fun. <laughs> You know, I um, that that move. Uh, Jamie English was showing me that if you're on your back, about uh, you know keeping the foot up, one footy. But he was saying on the hip, yeah. And then grab the ankle, uh, and then you hook the other foot, and then you kind of yes. pull tripod, and push together. You're, 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 what you're talking about is a tripod sweep. Yeah, to try to get up. This way, I can get up, or the guy, when the guy falls back, if it's possible. Yes, that's just you, me though. If I'm getting beaten up in public, you and your goblet. So Jimmy. One of these days, you I mean, even at night, maybe at night's better for you to come out. When you, I would when love you, that. Working gigs, you're such a such a busy little beaver. I know. Or if you're in the city, I would love you to come to uh, to Henzo's. Like on a, I would come in on a special day if you wanted to. It wouldn't matter. Whatever day you wanted to, a Thursday or Friday. That's, what gonna, that's what's probably gonna end up happening. Um, you know, listen, the uh, the main we'll go eat. Is, oh, I'll do it. I like to eat. Then we'll go eat. We will eat. Uh, Jim, Tim Elliott. Verse and I love this guy. And this is the first time I think we've seen him in action since uh he had that knee bar put on. Oh, him. Muhammad Makayev, yes. Muhammad Makayev is an awesome, awesome fighter. And yep. I met him when I, I was in Manchester, England, and he was uh you know quite the gentleman. I yeah, really yeah. Liked him. I liked him a lot. He was very respectful. I know he's worked some with Aljo and them, and I like him a lot. And yep. I can't say enough about Tim Elliott. You know what I mean? He's always fun to watch. Yep. Yep. He's fun to watch, and that so that fights. There's a reason why that's the one leading. Yeah, you know. Wow, I mean, two p.m. is the main card, Eastern Time, and ten a.m. is the. I, I like that ten a.m. is the uh, Armand Sarukian is in the uh, waiting room. We should he's not gonna make- be. He's going to be watching that fight very closely. I'm curious as to who he is looking at. Uh, next, I, I'd like to know what's on his mind and 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 who he is looking at after that uh, that Joe King Silva fight was incredible. Um, if, if you saw his last fight, hell heck yeah, I did. Heck yeah, yeah I, did. I like that you clean that up. Ah, yes, I clean that up too. How are you, sir? Scott Barman. Hello. Good. How are you guys? Very nice good. To see you. Um, what do you think? Because you fought. Um, uh, what do you think of this main event? Because we're actually very. Uh, Volkanovsky just kind of coming up and being uh, thrown into it is, is kind of crazy. Um, what do you think of it against uh, Makachev in a second fight with only 12 days camp? Uh, I think Makachev is a big favorite because. Uh, it's it's short notice, you know. If it was it wasn't for sure, it's like fifty fifty because Walk is a is a monster, you know. And uh, the last fight was uh, pretty close too. So, uh, 
But yeah, because of short notice, uh, my opinion, uh, Islam going to win. It comes down to really like, it's not even the skill set in my mind as much as the endurance. I mean, you know, Armin, I mean, a short notice fights, the difference could be which is the output you could get put out. Like, you know what I mean? Like, you might just not have that much in the tank. What do you, yeah. what do you I mean? You've taken short notice fights before. Yeah. I, I Your took, first one against I, Islam, right? Yeah. Islam, with Islam, I took the short notice too. So uh, it was like three and a half weeks or three weeks. It was more time than the walk has. So, but anyway, I just, I just was focused on my diet. So for my weight cut and that's it, because I was like 50, 86, 87 kilos, seven, six, 16 kilo. I got a cut for three weeks. So I couldn't do some techniques or whatever. I just, I just did, did drill, some drills and um, yeah, just cut weight, you know. Yes, it's so difficult, you know, to say. I don't know. Just my opinion, we're all gonna fight for money, not for legacy. So this fight he took for money, and that's it. Do you think? Like, I always wonder: Do guys should a guy take this fight? Should a guy not? Like, and the example I've used before is if you remember, Jose fought Connor and lost in thirteen seconds. So there probably was not a big call for a rematch there because it was such a fast fight. And then they offered Jose a rematch because I think it was RDA dropped out and he was not ready, and he said no. And that fight never came around again. So do you look at it like, hey, sometimes you have to say no, or if it's for the belt like this, you, you got to kind of take the fight. How do you feel about that? Uh, yeah, you know, maybe Volk, uh, he, he he maybe uh, like feel good, you know, maybe he was uh, in training camp or whatever, like he maybe he did some sparring or feels some, maybe someone can drop off uh, like, you know, like get injured and I can, I can jump and fight, you know, uh, yeah, that I can understand, but I don't know. Some people like risk, some people know I like, I like risk. So if they ask me about that, that fight, I don't know, maybe, uh, I would fight too, but never know. So, uh, I just, uh, I just, uh, well, I just can say like, walk is the man, you know, like, yeah, so it's uh, whatever how fight gonna be. I I would like to to see the third one too. Yeah, yeah. I mean, listen, you're coming off a great performance with your uh your finish of silver. I mean, that was that was awesome. You know, versus a very tough guy. Uh, are we just sitting tight and seeing what happens? I mean, what are we looking to do now? So I'm fighting with Darush December second. Oh, wow. Benil, what a great fight that is. Uh, de de uh, December 2nd, where is that? Uh, Texas, Austin. Awesome. That wow. Is was, right. that, wait, was that announced? No yet, but... Uh, we got it. My we manager it. my manager said like 100%. Yeah, I supposed to fight in October in uh, with Benil, but... And then they moved to November 11. So, and then they moved to December. So, hopefully, December 2nd. But... I've been training since since July, you know, and uh, so I'm I'm ready for any day. But it's it looks like December second, one hundred percent. Oh, that's great! Congratulations. That's a that's a really um that's an awesome fight. Uh, and, you. and you obviously uh one of those things. Are you going to watch? Do you watch like other fights? Like, are you going to watch the main event, or do you try to avoid watching? Uh, you know, some guys watch everything that their potential opponents will do, and some guys don't watch a lot of tape at all or a lot of other fights. Uh, so I, I, I like to watch fights, especially on my, on, on lightweight. And, uh, sometimes I couldn't, when I in Russia, it's like big time difference, but now I'm in the U S so I can follow and like, I can watch a lot of fights and, uh, yeah, definitely I'm going to watch these fights and, uh, yeah, I always try to watch any any fights on ranking ranking on my lightweight division because i gotta know everybody because you know we never know so uh, who knows maybe darius couldn't fight in december 2nd and like someone like gonna fight with me on ranking guy or whatever so i gotta know him already you know the uh, joaquin silver fight i i was so uh great your your win because you were really uh, stunned it looked like in the second uh how hurt were you and am i remembering this correctly uh you wound up going down and then reversing him in the second round after he really seemed like he stunned you with a punch 
Um, how hurt were you in that second? Uh, with the Silva? Yeah, yeah. So, uh, you know, I was very confident and uh, I missed one punch, you know, like I said, no, I, I got to like control myself, you know, I got to, uh, that fight like gave me a lot of experience. So now I know like I shouldn't uh, relax du during the fight and got to control every second. So, and um, yeah, and third round, when third round came, I said, oh, I got to finish this guy and that's it. So uh, I don't want to give uh, judges to judge me. Ah, heck yeah. Not listen. I didn't even remember that shit. I remembered you just putting him away. I don't want... What's his problem? Hey, Jimmy. Yes. Armin, get the fuck out of his face, man. He finished that fight. Why are you, well, you still? He, he, no, I want to know because I was what well, made him more impressive. Yeah, the fact he that learned, he got... He, he learned he was, from it. He was dominating the fight. Uh, Armin looked great in the first round, second round. So much ground control. Pressed him up against... And then uh, Silva, who's very tough stuns him with a punch and he pulls a beautiful move on the floor and then finishes him in the third i was more impressed and i wanted to know how close he was to going out in that second round i thought it was a very good question and he answered it he did i'm just breaking your balls <laughs> i like to tease my friend because when he get, thinks the fight is a man at him he gets a little stuttery but no he wasn't right <laughs> i'm sorry armin hey armin listen you're good you're good and when you're not when you're not watching fight tape and training uh what are you what are you doing in your off time buddy Tell, tell us what you want to be like. If you're reading a book, if you're watching a series on a, a streaming service, you're going for walks, talk to us. Let it, The audience wants to know you, Armin. Say it again, question. So when I'm, I watch I'm the do, fight, I'm going to do it slower, dude, because yeah. I'm on a, a lot of coffee, bro. I'm on a lot of espresso. Yeah, he's very caffeined up. He's coming I'm in I'm going to slow it down. When you're not, when you're not training and yeah. when you're not doing stuff related to training, watching fights and whatnot, an off day, Give us a hobby. Are you yeah. reading a book? Are you watching a show? Let us oh, know. God. Yeah, so um, to be honest, I train every day. doesn't matter if I have a camp. I have a fight or not. And uh, if I don't have a fight, I train, I think, more than uh, on my camp. I don't know why, because I have... Um, I more enjoy a train when I don't have a fight, because I can come, train like three, four hours, and like... I don't know, just uh, to practice new technique, you know, and uh, to get improved everywhere. So, and uh, I don't need to do like crazy sparring. So I just do a lot of drills. But yeah, but sometimes uh, I play tennis, I drive snowmobile, UTV, ATV. I don't know. So that's I, what I want to hear. I like, I like I like activity sports, snowboarding, ski, whatever. Like all all different things. Now, Do you like now, training? Oh, now sorry. I started play golf too, but it's so boring for me now. I don't know. It People say boring. you gotta you gotta drink and then play. I said I can't, I can't drink. I'm a UFC fighter, so I gotta be champion. And when I retire, yeah. Then you drink. Um, I, do you do you like to train when you don't have a particular opponent because you don't have to train for somebody? Like you yeah. don't have to you don't have to think about another person the whole time. You can just kind of go in any direction you feel like going in. Right. Yeah. Just enjoy, enjoy like process, you know, like you don't think about fight. You feel like very light, you know, when you have a fight, you think about your body. Oh, I don't, I don't want to overtrain or whatever. So I got to do this, that sleep on time, eat on time, you know, but when you, when you don't have a fight, you just, I don't know, for me, training go going more easier when I don't have a fight. When you're done fighting many, many years from now, you're a young guy. You ever think about being a trainer or opening a school or something? Because you seem to love the training. So now I don't like coaching, training, like, but I would like to open schools. So when I became a champion, we'll see. So uh, when I became a rich, I can open uh, like gym for myself, and uh, I want to train there and train people. Not be a like head coach, just like to show some my favorite techniques, you know. But yes. no. But like as a coach, I I wouldn't. I don't know. I don't feel like I I I can be good coach. Why don't <laughs> you? Do you not like it, or do you not think you're I good mean, at it? Or I what don't do have you like? A lot of a lot of patience, you know. You you gotta be like you gotta have a lot of patience. Maybe I'm young, so when I become 35, 37, we can talk. So now I'm 26. Oh, yeah. I just became 27. So 27. Yeah. When did you turn 27? 
uh, a few days ago, October 11th. Happy birthday. Did you do anything fun? No, nothing. Nothing yet. After fight. <laughs> after after I guess fight, so. I thought I celebrate my victory and my birthday or whatever. Oh. What do you expect out of Benil? Because, I mean, he took a tough loss to Charles, and, and Benil is, was on such a winning streak. Well, what are you expecting him to come with now? I mean, you know, he's not a guy who loses very often, so how are you expecting him to, to come? He's a tough opponent, you know. He knows striking, wrestling, jiu-jitsu. Um, so, but I feel like it's my time, you know, my prime, so I got to just go there, like dominate him, finish him, and go out. So that's it. I, I, I can see how he can beat me. I don't know, but yeah. And it's not the worst time to fight him. I mean, I know you want the best version of him, and that's most hopefully, hopefully that's what you get. But he's come, yeah, he is coming off that tough loss, Jimmy. We got to yeah. see how he is off that. And I'll tell you, the UFC is not doing doing him any favors. They're giving him Armin right after that. That's rough. Yeah, I mean, on yeah. that level, there's no easy fights. But yeah, exactly. Yeah, I mean, hopefully he came off fight gonna be gonna be in December second, so and we can we can see who is the best. Oh, heck yeah. And what do you think, before we let you go, I, I know you had talked about Michael Chandler. Uh, are, are you thinking his fight with Connor is going to go through, or do you think that's going to fall through? Uh, we'll see next year, probably. Uh, he He's waiting for Connor McGregor, and uh, he, all, uh, he, he has been waiting like a year, so I don't know. Maybe he made a lot of money and he just enjoyed his life, and he doesn't want to take the risk with young killers, you know. And you train, too, like, really hard when you're not fighting. Do you also, like, because you fought um, Makashev on such short, do you like to always be ready just in case something comes up? Do you always kind of like to be in camp just so you're ready if a, if a really good opportunity shows up unexpected? Yeah, if it's going to be title shot, yeah. But uh, I don't like, to, to be honest, to go t uh, short notice because I took once the, ch the chance to, be uh, to become a UFC champion. But... I prefer have, have a lot of whole, whole training camp and like to be ready. And if uh, after fight, if something happened, you know, you can say, okay, I give all my best, you know, I train hard. And, but if it's, if it's going to be short notice, I'm just, you know, I'm, I'm young. I feel like I'm going to have time to be, to fight in title short or like all fights. So just. I got to have a lot of patience and wait my time. And next year is going to be my time. Armin, thank you. Uh, can't wait to see you fight again. And maybe we'll talk to you after the Benil fight. But that's a great fight. And thanks for letting us thank know you about it. You guys, Benil Darius, on December the 2nd. Incredible fight down in Austin. Thank you so much, guys. All right, buddy, we'll talk to you again. All right. Good luck. Bye-bye. Yeah, Bye-bye, buddy. Man, I'm excited. That's a great, fight, great fight. And by the way, I think before the show, Jake had mentioned that a fight possible fight. I think we were just talking about it, if I'm correct. Um, or maybe you mentioned it. I don't remember. Somebody said it. I think it was Jake. Yeah. Uh, I, don't, I don't like you trying to get Armin Saruki and all <laughs> hyped up. <laughs> I'm sorry, buddy. <laughs> Listen, man. Yeah, once in a while, they get a little guy. He, he didn't care, but sometimes guys get a little. Uh, it's hard to ruffle his feathers, huh? Oh, yeah. yeah. What I, I, don't, I honestly mean? don't care if they get mad at me. First of all, I, I, he went from having, I thought, maybe no hobbies to naming like 18 hobbies. He goes, oh, yeah. you know, what do you like to do? I just train. I also ride ATVs, play tennis, snowmobiling. I'm like, Golf. Wow, wait a second. Each one of those we can talk about, you know? Yeah, I enjoy none of those I things, by the way. you as a monster on the court. I, like not the ten, like the not the tennis, the pickleball court. Oh, I can yeah. see you being a pickleball champion. No, nah, I don't fuck a pickleball. And you'll have one of those those racket things. My that right arm is very effective. I, you know who would be good at fucking pickleball is Chip Chipperson. Do you still yeah. do Chip Chipperson? I haven't done it in like six months. I got bored. Oh, you got like, bored. Is, is he alive? Is he dead? We don't know. Let's hope so. He hey, does what cameos. About, what about what about Doug? Oh, I, I I do a cameo later. What about Doug Bell? Doug Bell, I I uh, I wound up doing a run. I mean, the total there's fifty one Doug Bell casts up on Chips YouTube, um, fifty one episodes. 
No, you know what? Yeah, a lot of people hate Doug Jim Bell. He's over the top, so he's not as cringy, but he's because he's so over the top, you know that's what he's doing. Yeah. Doug Bell is just it's just a it's just an uncomfortable pain. Yeah. It's just Jimmy. <laughs> Jimmy, it is so uncomfortable when you're uh, when when I meet when I see that character. And uh and I'm gonna say I like it, but don't like it. It makes my skin crawl. That, that makes me so happy because it's one of those things that it's my greatest fear is like, you never want to be that guy. The guy who is like, he's got a few shit stories from 15 or 20 years ago that nobody cares about. He's annoying. He doesn't know it. He is spittle in the corner of his mouth. Uh, he's boring. Like, yeah, I, Doug Bell is my favorite. Jimmy, I had so much fun. I had so much fun at Comic-Con. I think Comic-Con. Not besides, you know, the great technique of Carol Colombo, who's the striking coach at Sarah BJJ. Yeah. Young Marcus with that head kick. You've seen that head kick seven seconds? Yep, I did. Uh, seven seconds. I think part of it is him going to Comic-Con and getting, it's like it fueled up his Zen. If you have like, like you go to a gas, uh, you, like you go to the gas tank and you put the gas, tank, you like, like he filled up his Zen. Ah, how, how did he do that? Did he talk to a couple of the X-Men or? Did uh, Iron Man help him? <laughs> You're being condescending to young Marcus? No, I'm making fun of your... And he loves the anime. I'm making fun of your thinking that that's how he won the fight. I'm telling you that right. let's say, let's say you're like, no, that's not the same thing. I don't let's think young say, Marcus is head kicking me. Let's say you're unmotivated in your comedy. No, oh, that's easy to say, yeah. And then you go and you see a great set. Yeah. And you do something, you're like, that's so good. It makes me want to, it just makes me happy. I don't know. It's not like that at all. But my point is this, is that young Marcus did great. I'm so happy. But my yeah. Man, you know, we, I have such a good time, Jimmy. Uh, hey, I think we should give some uh, our predictions, I think. Let's and, do that. Yeah, let's do it. Let's after do our, for the co-main in the main. And and then, let's, let, um, I want to do the um, feature bout too. Oh, you're so cool. Let's do it. Let's start with Angolayev against Johnny Walker. Um, I can see this going either way. I mean, if Magomed, uh, you know, like you said, either one of these guys could drop each other. But Walker, after a couple of losses, has looked so good in his last three. Uh, you know, again, he knocked out Paul Craig. He knocked out uh, Kudlaba and went the distance with Anthony Smith, who is also very qualified of ripping you down and, and uh, pounding you on the ground. I say Johnny Walker is going to stop Ankalaev. I say he stops him in the second. Mm. Mm -hmm. All right. That's what you say. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Oh, Bago, man. <laughs> Jimmy, act your, can you act your age? Jimmy, it's not. It's not a midlife crisis if I was always this way. That yeah. is a good point, yes. I've asked about it. I've, yes. I've, I've inquired about me. Yeah, uh, not, not I'm a, I hope it's not a midlife crisis. It's an end-of-life crisis. <laughs> <laughs> You're so mean. You're very mean to me. Jimmy, I think Magomed is going to shock everybody and get a knockout in the second round. You might be right. I mean, look, the guy does have knockout power, so okay. All right, I now might be right. I might be right, or I might be crazy, Jimmy. And it yeah. just might be a lunatic you're looking for. Thank now, you, Hamzat. That's Billy, that's Billy Joel. I know. I remember when that, that record came out. What's the name of the record? I don't talk in the third person, but of a young Matt Serra in the dentist chair. Now, in the dentist chair, they used to give you headphones, like you yep. know, and and you had to pick a cassette because back in the day we used to have sure. People. So when I put the, the Mickey Mouse nose with the sweet air on and I was doing like dental work and they do dental work on me because sometimes I'd have a lot of those fun dips and I'd have the sugary stuff and i get some cavities. And when you eat the you eat the dipper after, the white stick. Uh, and then I would, uh, uh, we'll get back in a second to the. Uh, yeah. So I would listen with the sweet air on to Billy Joel. It's not a great story. Do you remember the name? I mean, it's it's that's, it's, that's, that's pretty it, much the story. I, I that's it's, really hard to imagine if that was the story. That, that was like a moderate setup. I can't believe that's the beginning, middle, and end of that story. <laughs> now let me ask you, do you remember the name of that record? It was Glass Houses. Uh oh. I, I remember I was in sixth grade when that came out, 
and my friend got three copies of it at a birthday party. Like that, that was a big record. There was uh there's a bunch I of good songs. Mine, on I it. think I listened to like the Glass House or something like that. I listened to the one with Allentown, the Piano Man. That's t- uh, no, no, Captain they're just they're all Jack. different records. Captain Jack and the Piano Man might be on the same record. You know what? Know. Hey, listen, I got a lot of work done. Maybe he just had Billy Joel and put in different shit. Yeah, but you know, Captain Jack was great. Yeah, you're 21 and your mother still makes your bed. Yeah, that's too long. Is that how it goes? Yeah, that's that right. Yeah, thank that's you, true. Jimmy. Jimmy, now, tomorrow, tomorrow against, uh, why don't you to belt out? Uh, <laughs> Let's go. what do you think? Kamaro, uh, against Hamzat. I want Kamaro, but that's a tough fight to come on kind of short notice. Um, Hamzat's last fight against Holland was that that was at middleweight or was that at welterweight i don't remember gary man is that he doesn't have to cut weight for this shit you know what i mean really i mean he has to yeah. cut weight maybe some but you know he's fought before at 170 had some issues so 185 is not gonna be a problem yeah and you know when kamar Usman doesn't that yeah i'm sure he has to cut some because he doesn't walk around 185 but it's not gonna be the same as cutting the 170 i mean it's gonna be interesting man we we never seen kamar Usman at middleweight <laughs> you know that's another thing yeah, how will the how will the uh, lack of cut affect him as opposed to lugging around an extra fifteen pounds? Word, you know. Who are you uh, taking? Oof! Uh, well, that's the deal, man. It's 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 a it's a three round fight. Yeah, the onslaught of that first round is going to be so telling in this fight. Yeah, if Camaro. He knows Comtat's going to try to just get him out of there. I don't. Yes. I think that guy, he might have a game plan, but he's like, I'm just going to smash. And when, if Kamaru could overcome that, if he could overcome that, that the, um, the tornado that, that, uh, that Comtat's going to be in that first round, I think he could win it. So, this is the problem. I think that Kamzat's in phenomenal shape and I think it's going to be a competitive first round. And then I think Kamzat's just going to be keeping the foot on the gas. And I, if this was a full camp, my decision might be going the other way, but because Kamzat is in, I'm sure phenomenal shape. I mean, he was getting ready for Costa. So he's getting ready for a big dude. That's hard to put down anyway. You know what I mean? Hard to, so, you know what I mean? It's hard to just grapple him. You know what I mean? Uh, uh, Paulo Costa. So I'm going to say, I'm gonna I'm gonna say that uh, Kamzat by decision. I think, I think Kamaro's gonna make it through. Or actually, what are you what are you choosing? I don't know. I'm I'm not sure. Jake is telling me. I, he's the Dana has said this might be a title eliminator. But what? Uh, I'm not sure what you're talking about, uh, Jake, with Kamaru and uh, Strickland. What are you talking about? Maybe I'm uh, am I missing something here? You're right for Jake, Jake is confusing me. You're saying that this. If Kamaru, oh, okay. I thought you were saying it was a rematch. Uh, sets up a rematch with Strickland. What do, you, what do you mean a rematch with Strickland? When have they fought? No, they didn't fight. He said sets up a match with Strickland. Chris Strickland. He said a rematch. Well, I don't see a rematch. Read if the, Kamara wins, he'd fight Strickland. No, no. Read above that. Oh, that was directly to me. It oh. says. It says if Kamaru wins, sets up a rematch with Strickland. So I was just confused. They never fought. So I, I wonder, he thinks Strickland's fighting everybody in the light heavyweight division and in the welterweight division. What was the it's fucking rough, Strickland that had the fights? Everybody? It's a rough day for our <laughs> producer, but listen, it's okay. Yeah, it just. Kamaru for oh, 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 there fuck. you go. You right know what? Now, I stand corrected. Like this to both of us. Fuck every. He's like this. God fuck damn you, it. You little bird. Fuck you. My, you fall you're right. Head. My apologies. Hey, uh, you're right. Jake. They did fight in 2017. Sorry about that. Hey, what's his problem, Jake? I'm. Well, I was just saying I was confused. It's been a rough day. He's like, I've been a rough day. I deserve it. Nah, Jake. Young Jake. I didn't remember that they had fought. So, Listen, you know man. what? Fuck me. I should have looked at the record. Yeah. Hey, man. I, it was. It was. Like the kids say, it was a mi- like a minute ago. I said still, if, he, if rematch, I should have assumed he was right, and then just looked at the record instead of saying I don't recognize that fight. That's fucking cool, though. Yeah. Uh, Thank middle- you, Jake. So I think I listen. I'm very excited about it. Yeah, I'm gonna take comms out because of that whole short notice thing. Not, I mean, I, yeah, it, yeah, really, because I think if it was, if he had a full camp, this might be a, a different thing. But 
But I, I'm not going to be surprised if Kamara pulls it out. But I, I think you're right. But I'm going to take Kamara by uh, I'm going to take Kamara by decision, just because I always bet with my heart and not my head, which is why I don't gamble. Yeah, I mean, no, now you know what am I? Bet? I'm betting without my. I'm a heartless prick now. No, no, no. You're you're more betting what you think is actually going to happen. I'm I betting know, because you know. That's by the way to do it. I kind of got a. I kind of. Yeah. Gotta, you forgot that Kamara's a friend, and he's come on the show a lot, and I all of a sudden your team Shamaya. Right? I'm not. I'm not, I'm not going to be sitting there rooting for Kamza. I mean, listen. Yeah. I don't have a horse in this race, but come on, Jose, we're going to win this race. Listen, let's go to the main event. Stop it, Jimmy. Jimmy, you have to be silly all the time. Jimmy. Yep. How are you? Good. Let's do the main event. Um, Jimmy, so when I'm teaching, I get so hyped up. I just sometimes I'm like guys are on the floor and I make like I'm falling. I'll just do like a cartwheel over them. I'm really just a happy little man. Makachev oh, again. I'm going to bet with my my head this time. I think uh, Makachev wins in the third. I want you to bet. With your, I want you to bet with your black little heart. I say I okay. Uh, Volkanovski stops Makachev. Third round. Oh, are you serious? No. Um. Yeah. That's it. Right now, I, I hate making – this is the thing. Fuck it. I got to make predictions. I got, I got a family. Uh, you know, people want to hear it. They don't want you on the fence. Yeah. You don't want to be on the fence. Oh, what's his opinion? Oh, 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 I listened to his opinion. Guess what it was? He was on the fence. Nothing fun happens on the fence. I just like saying on the fence. <laughs> I don't saying, blame you. Jimmy, this is what I'm saying. I – I would love just both underdogs to win because I like that shit. I like it. Short, bald, and rough. You know what I said before? I said I would never, like, go against Volkanovski again. Yeah? Yeah, but never say never. I'm going to take I'm going to take Islam. Yeah, it's fine. In the, deep, in the deeper waters. Sure. I'm going to say that fourth round. And uh, I'm going to say fourth round strangle. I said Makach. I said uh, Volk. You know what? I said third round um, because he hasn't had that camp because. Hey, look what we're doing. It's a sword fight. It, I think that uh, I think Volk's going to try to make it happen faster because he hasn't had a full camp. So I'm going to give him third round. Yeah. I say stop stand up a little bit. Tend to do with me. I, I prefer not to. Uh, Jimmy, uh, Jimmy, yeah. I think by the time I'm 50, I'll be, I'll be mature. Oh, it's going to catch up. All right. And then we'll see how much fun I am. Sure. You're gonna be every 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 episode. You're gonna be like, he's not he's not being silly this episode. He's not singing. Yeah. You'll be devastated. Yeah, people like you, but they don't like the singing. <laughs> yeah, it's not fair to say. You know, <laughs> hey, don't you speak for the people with that? You're uh, maybe I should. Maybe I'm just putting my um, wishes to it. Wow. All right. Thank All right, you very much to Armin Sarukian. <laughs> And uh, I'll definitely talk to you uh, this weekend, man. I'm very psyched. Hey, tonight I'm at the Fat Black Pussycat. If you're in this city oh. and you want to come down, come see me. Uh, working on the new hour. It's been going really great. And, and then uh, let's, um, oh, yeah, yes, do that. Fat Black right. Pussycat, Wednesday night. Sure. And Jimmy, let's, uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to see. I'm going to see when I'm going to come into the city. I, I wanna, love that. There's like a, a woman's class there. And uh, I might bring my, my, my daughter with me. Oh, there you go. And maybe they could train, and then I could grab you and train my little bird, say hello to my uh, Professor J. That you know would be I mean? awesome. We have a good time. Jimmy, man, I can't wait for the fights this weekend. People, remember, the main card starts at 2 p.m. And yes. the prelims start at 10 a.m. Yes! We're such a good team. We certainly are. I'll talk to you later, Jimmy. All right, buddy. Thanks. Bye, buddy.